cool. You visited a tourist town. You decided to take a break there with your allies. Switch for training gear, switch for activity items. What's an activity item? Oh, I got activity points back. Nice. Seems there isn't a sled somewhere. They left some useful items behind. I can go to Gillander territory or Barnabas territory. A facility can be expanded. Well, let's go deal with that shit. <laughs> supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Collect supplies. Is that the one that can be expanded? Let's see. Facilities master. Okay, so I'm assuming I can only do one of these. What are the actual bonuses that I get? So I can do this. Any of these will uh, increase the effect of trading a certain class. Marketplace. What are these things? Establish a luxury goods distribution channel in order to save on restocking costs. Slightly reduces the cost of gifts. Slightly increase the gold gained when winning a battle. Ooh, that's nice. Slightly increase the types of resources and ingredients that can be bought. Hmm. I've never used the battalion guild. Loan out basic equipment to the battalion. Slightly increases the endurance of hired battalions. Renovate the encampment, increasing the number of troops that are able to stay there. Slightly increases the number of battalions you can hire. Slightly reduces the cost of hiring battalions. And then there's the supply depot, which gets us what? Slightly increases the types of tradable items. Let's start with this and see if I can still do things. Okay. I think marketplace. <clears throat> I want this one. Can I still do more? Oh, I can. This one. And now I can't do any more. Oh, but I can still do battalion guild. Okay. There's still the training grounds. I can. Okay. Nice. Let me know if I may be of further service. And then I have one thing I can do. Um, <clears throat> I can do one activity. Care to make yourself useful? Sure. Let's organize documents. What, Sylvain? What are you doing? All right, let's give it our best. 
I love how I'm like carrying books, right, to put on the bookshelf. And Annette is like organizing the books. And Sylvania's over here with a fucking feather duster just going pat, pat, pat. <laughs> Great. Let's go fight more shit. Which battlefield are you headed to? I feel like we have to do this one, right? Not that we have to, just that I want to. Okay. Let me... Okay. Well, I can say Annette. And... Blaine. And who else is really low? Oh, we got a few. Uh, Sedith. Cool. Fights. Let's earn our keep. We shall show them our battle. All right. Wipe out the enemy before reinforcements arrive. Okay. All right, I'm gonna try and do this as quick as I can. Yeah, uh, Annette is not meant for close range. I'm not stopping now. Nice. This belongs to us now. Um, oh wow. My minimap view is very, very limited. Nice! I forgot that Annette had a spirit bomb. Oh yeah, and she also has this. Nice. Defeat bandits before the decaying altar falls. Well, fuck this archer then. We're gonna go do that. Hey, bandits. Nice. 
My word! Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Mission time limit exceeded. Excuse you. Magic hand. Yay, she's dead. She do be getting stronger though. Alright. That's blue, so let's go this way. Man, and that and that's kicking ass this round. Keep it going. Look, she's recharged her special already. Yeah, you're damn right you can't. Okay, I see an enemy over there. I 
Damn, bruh. There we go. Fuck him up, Annette. Hell yeah. We're not losing to anyone. Oh yeah, you are, buddy. Definitely didn't get an S rank on this mission, but you know, whatever. This meant the end of the war. Yay. Oh, so close. I have yet more power to unleash. Nice. 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 Sure. Traveling mages are congregating there. Nice. Raise one magic level of the selected unit. Who has like a really low magic level? We probably should give it to someone with the high magic level. Happy. Wow, she's only got 15. Let's give it to Happy. The squad has finished training. They're lined up in awaiting orders. Hmm. Retribution. Okay. Let's go back to camp. There's a couple of things to take care of. Blah, blah, blah. We gotta go see the facilities master. I don't know if I can be a Venetian. I keep doing I went the wrong way. We gotta go here. Allow me to assist with any matters <laughs> regarding the facilities. Allow me to assist with any matters. <laughs> Slightly increase the chance of succeeding when volunteering. Nice. Allows you to visit the forest on expeditions. Nice. I can't do that just yet. But let me know if I may be of further service. Well, how'd it go? A little pomegranate. Any results a good result. Increases dexterity by two. He's got really low dex. 21, 16, 16, 17, 25, 
18, 15, 20, 17, 19, 18, 16, 16. Okay, I think it was 15. There's Mercedes. Okay, and then we have support conversation. I said it, I guess. Ah, I wanted to speak with you. You have made quite the name for yourself recently. Oh, uh, thanks. Yeah, that's about the appropriate response. A true feat for one so young. It is a shame you could not continue your studies at the academy. If only you had been graced with the opportunity to cultivate your knowledge and gain more experience alongside your classmates, it is likely you would have become influential enough to impact Fodlin's very future. You trying to say something, buddy? You trying to say I can't do that now? You have grown silent. Is something on your mind? Bro, I'm a fucking general. <laughs> what do you all think of me, honestly? We've fought enough battles together. You know I've got this mysterious power. You and Rhea, you're suspicious of me, aren't you? Yes, I admit you are right. We have yet to determine if you are truly trustworthy. The power you possess is different from that of a crest. That alone is cause for suspicion, if I may be so blunt. You might not bear us any ill will, but what if you were to succumb to the manipulations of someone like Tomas? That doesn't sound very likely. Although I guess it's possible I could accidentally hurt someone with it. Precisely. And furthermore, the victim of said accident could be the Archbishop. Or my sister, Flame. We must remain vigilant to even the slightest possibility of danger. I know the Empire often accuses the Church of exploiting the people to fill our coffers. <laughs> but the fact remains that the Archbishop has always gone to great lengths to maintain peace in Fodlin. She also serves as the spiritual guide for the vast majority of citizens here. We simply cannot risk losing her, even if it is only a one in a million chance. Well, okay. If that's the case, what do you want me to do about it? I can't just leave. That would be a huge problem for Dimitri and everyone else. I have no intention of telling you to go. I am well aware of how much the king values you. However, I would ask that you keep your distance from the Archbishop and to stay away from Flame as well. This could prove difficult given you two serve in the Kingdom Army together, but it is a personal request. I know this all may be unpleasant for you, but will you agree to do so? <laughs> agree to avoid the Archbishop, but not Flane. Hmm, who does he care for more? more? <laughs> uh, okay, fine. I won't go near the Archbishop, and I'll try my best to steer clear of flame. You have my thanks. It's all right, really. I'm not sure what this power is myself. It's a voice in your head. I mean, it's my body and all, but I really have no idea what it's going to do next. In time, I hope you discover the true nature of your power. If there is anything I can do to assist you with the matter, do not hesitate to ask. Will do. Thanks. Nice. <laughs>